Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss prepositions. And I will tell you about the prepositions of position and place. Uh, the prepositions since and for. And the prepositions between and among. We shall have some examples of these prepositions to make our concept clear. Okay, here is the definition of preposition. A preposition is a part of speech which shows relationship. It is a word that is placed before a noun or a noun equivalent to show in what relation the person or thing denoted by the noun stands to something else. In short, we can say that preposition shows relationship. See the example. He was born in 1990. Now, the relationship between born and 1990 is shown by the word preposition in. They went to park. Now, park and went are linked together with the help of a preposition to. Now, I'll tell you about the use of preposition. In, on and at are used to show the position of something. For example, in 2000. In one, on Sunday, at 10 o'clock, in summer, on that day, at the moment, in time, on 14th May, at night. Now you see that how the prepositions in, on, at are used in these phrases. Okay, let's do an exercise. You have to put in prepositions of position and place in, on and at in the following sentences. See example number one. My friend lives at 26G Model Town. Her flat is on the second floor. Yesterday, Ali met me at the railway station. We spent the evening in a park and he told me that his father was in a hospital. See how these prepositions of position and place are used in these examples. He had been hurt in an accident is another example. Okay, now I will tell you about since and for and their usage as prepositions in sentences. Now you must know that since indicates when an action began, whereas for indicates how long the action continued. For example, I have been waiting for you since morning. Now the action began in the morning, so we have to use since. He has been studying for an hour. Now the action lasted for an hour. So we would use the preposition for to indicate the action. We have been living in Lahore since 2010. Now, the action began in 2010, so we would use since in this sentence. Let's do exercise number two. You have to fill in the blanks. I have not seen him since last Friday. The action began in last Friday, so we use since. I studied for two hours. She has been working in this office since 2005. And my uncle is going abroad for a month. The action lasted for a month, so we use for. Now I'll tell you about the usage of prepositions between and among. Between is usually used to refer to two people or things, while we use among when we refer to more than two people or things. And it can also be used with the collective nouns. See the examples? The restaurant is between the bank and the studio. Now we are talking about two nouns, bank and studio. That's why we would use between. There is an argument between the two people. We are talking about two people. These five shopkeepers talked among themselves. And there are no secrets between you and me. And gifts were distributed among the children. Now, when we are talking about more than two people, we are using among. And when we are talking about two people, we would use between. 
आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द होल कॉन्सेप्ट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग